we on. All right, Shalom. Shalom. I'm the brother Zakaria. I'm the brother Ina. We're coming at you from the JMS Camp Atlanta Church. Now, before we get started with this in transit, we want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace will have a citation so as you hopeful let that's been pushing the truth. Now, in today's in transit, or should I say in today's lesson, we're just going to get into, you know, being born again, all right? Or what it's like being born again that the um brother, uh, the brother and I beautifully came up with, okay? But uh, if you didn't have anything else to say, we can get right into it, bro. Yeah, because uh, we're going to break down what it means to be born again according to the spirit of Yahweh, which mm -hmm. is the Heavenly Father's name through his son, Yahweh Shai, which you ignorantly call, the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ because the Christian church likes to say they're born again, mm -hmm. but that's pretty much amounting to the same stuff that they've been doing, you know, and then they say that they're saved, but the scriptures say, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to be born again through the spirit? We're just going to break it down. So this is John uh, chapter three and verse one. There was a man of the Pharisee, man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people think being born again is being dunked into a, 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 a bathtub or a, a, a pool at a Christian church and then that's over with. You're just saved, you're born again, and that's it. No, all right? You can't enter into the kingdom of heaven, all right, with the same mentality or the same spirit. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Yeah, so basically, how can, how can I be born again when I'm old mm -hmm. or I'm high up there in age, you know? Which, a, which is a uh, legitimate question, but also a simple one as well, mm -hmm. all right? And our Lord, Yahweh Bashim is about to break it down. It says, uh, Nicodemus says, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? So do I have to like, you know, go back into my mother's room and, and come out the womb? How I came in the world? Do I have to go back to doing that? All right, he's just being simple. All right, it's a, it's a legitimate question, but in a simple format, okay. all right? And this is what Yahweh Shah said. Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So that's the spiritual cleanse, all right? The spiritual water, all right? Because you have to be cleansed from all the filth that you grew up in or filth that you saw, that you've been taught, etc., man. All right? To be born again, all right? To come back again to Yahweh Shai, to learn the correct way of living, all right? To learn who to call upon, to learn how to pray. You have to come back and relearn everything, man. All right, that's the true state of being born again. All right, again, it's not dumping you inside some um, some bath water, whatever the case might be, all right? That's not the true way of being born again. The true way of being born again is, is the Lord actually cleansing your mind, all right? You, you, you letting all that pollution go, right? all right? And, and you coming into something that's new, the light, all right? And you learning... The true ways of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah to the best of your ability and following them, okay? You got to accurate. Uh, continuing on, it says, That which is born, this is uh, John 3 and 6, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Yeah, just to keep it straightforward, all right? As we all know, when, it, when, a, when a child is born, they come in as a child should be born. But with the spirit, you have to be born of the spirit, all right? And you can tell through spiritual discernment, who was born with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, or who are still in the flesh, okay? How the way people act, talk, and that's why it's very, very important to um, like to keep a good character about yourself as far as mannerism and stuff, because that's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, you can you can read about King David. He always um carried himself about with wisdom, man. Okay, and he always had good conduct because he had the spirit and power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. You have it. Uh, All right, John three and seven. Marvel not, I say, said unto thee, you must be born again. Yeah, because it, it took him away. He's like, whoa. So, so born again of the spirit, and that's what a lot of our people um is going to start experiencing. 
And to be honest, that's what I experienced when I first came out. I'm like, huh? Be born again? You know, I kind of marvel. I was like, oh, okay, I get it. So I have to, I have to mortify my members. You know, I have to let go of my old, my, my past. You know, that ninja that you used to be in the world, man. Okay? You have to let all that go. All right? You want to um, say something? No, I got a preset. All right, Colin. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. All right, which is uh, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And then it topped it off by saying what? Of the word. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, once you receive this word, it's going to change you. You're not going to think the same. You're not going to go about your day the same. Just like when um when brothers be on the highways and hedges. All right, when you see a group of, um, it could be Israelites, heathens, whatever. When you see a group of people walk by and hear the word, once, once they leave that camp that day, their thoughts are not the same. They don't, they're going to constantly think about it, all right? Because that's the power of Yahweh by Shemiah man, all right? And what's even more powerful, that you you could probably, what, used to gang bang, you probably scheming in the world, but you heard the word, and now you're changed. Because that's, that's the power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, man, through the spirit. And where do your spirit lies? Within your mind, your la'ah, okay? Your heart, all right? So you had to change your heart. All right, you, you probably were smoking doing this, that, and the third. But now through Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, you have a change of heart. Right. Your thoughts are different. You're eating different. You're talking different. You're doing this, that, and the third. Everything about you is just different, okay? Because you've been cleansed, mm -hmm. okay? You got to argue. Psalms 119 and 9. <coughs> Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to that word? So like the brother was saying, you cleanse yourself of being a ninja in the world or being caught up in black culture or being caught up in that Latino culture while washing yourself with the word. Mm -hmm. You learn about the laws, statutes, commandments for you. Other Israelite camps to say, we don't keep the law. We keep the law to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. That's another topic for another lesson. But nonetheless, we learned that smoking defile is the defilement of the flesh, all right? Adultery is punishable by death, all right? Wearing idols and worshiping other idols is worthy of death. Mm -hmm. We still hold, we still follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. We learn of our ancient forefathers, like the brother said, how King David conducted himself. Mm -hmm. All right, King David was a man after the Lord's heart. So you have to immerse yourself into this water. Now we're just passing by a church right now. Yep. They'll tell you you got to get dunked into a, a, some bath water, and then you're all good. But the true baptism, the true uh, rebirth, being born again. It's through the spirit by getting into this word and also the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Christian church does not teach you the fear of the Lord. When you learn of the true depiction of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, it's a sense of fear that comes into your heart. And then you learn about the judgments that the Lord is bringing upon the earth. If you don't, if you can't tell, mm -hmm. then that fear. So the fear will have you uh, change your ways as well because hey, a great judgment is coming. So you're mm -hmm. born again by the fear of the Lord <clears throat> All right, knowing his name, and then cleansing yourself by the word, reading, reading these different accounts, mm -hmm. reading, reading the laws, reading the prophecies. That's how you cleanse yourself. Not going to the Kingdom Hall, Joel's Witnesses, and getting baptized, or the Pentecostal or Baptist Church on Sunday, and say you want to get baptized. Because hey, I've been there before. I got baptized. <clears throat> All right, in the Christian church, so to speak. I went back to doing the same stuff the night after. The night, the night of mm -hmm. Okay but when you get into this word The fear of the Lord comes in It's like well I can't do that I can't eat shrimp, crab and lobster and pork anymore mm -hmm. Alright I can't line my head up If I have tattoos I can't get those no more Alright Then you start understanding that If you do go off and do these things The Lord deal with you Yeah Alright Now it's different levels to that But he do deal with you man Okay And this is all a learning experience as well all right. That's why when you come back or be born again, it's very, very important to constantly come back to this milk, the truth, the book. OK, because remember, we just um, brought out the account about Nicodemus. And he's talking about coming back into the world through the womb. And how was I actually correct to him and say you got to be born of the spirit. But once you're born of the spirit, you also got to come back to the source, man. All right. Which is which is this book. He come in the volume of a book. So the source is Yahweh by Shimei All right. Um, was, was there any more on that? That was it on that. Can you get the account where, where it talks about um, coming back as a babe? Yeah, kind of. The water, bro. Uh, this is... Um, 
All right, Hebrews <clears throat> chapter 5 and verse 12. For when, for when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. Because what? Nicodemus, he was with the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. So so evidently he knew something. Right. All right? He has some, like you see today. You might see other camps or just an individual who's very knowledgeable. They might know a lot about the, the world, but when it comes to spiritual things, all right, they have no clue of. That's why the scripture says, what? Well, he had marvel once Yahweh shot speak those things. All right? Because it was new to him. It was like, whoa, what mm -hmm. are you talking about? Yeah. But that's why you have to go back to the spiritual source, man. All right? You have to, yeah, you probably was knowledgeable. Yeah, you probably was a teacher. Mm -hmm. But you coming back and being born of the spirit and power you have by Shem Yahweh Shah, you still got to learn. And then once you do come in, shoot, you still learn. I'm still a babe. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still a babe. Like, yeah, we all we all still learning. We're still growing. If mm -hmm. you don't grow, then you're just stagnant. This truth is about growth. Mm-hmm. But uh, you got it. Continuing on in uh, Hebrews 5 and 12. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. And are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Exactly, of milk and not of strong meat. And I want to say this right quick, just to back up um, the, the scripture, just to add on to the points. Nicodemus, he had to be retaught, and he got retaught by Yahweh Shai. Right. All right, up close, just like us. We used to be out there in the world, in the world, but we heard this truth. We heard the word of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Therefore, what? We had to go through that refinement. Mm -hmm. We had to come back, repent, and we had to relearn everything. Yeah, we was probably a little older, you know, some at the high school, some was in college, some was probably in the military, whatever the case might be. Mm -hmm. He was probably a lawyer, anything. Right. But you understanding that, that you have to be, you know, retaught, that's the other spirit of power you have by Shemuel Yeah. All right? You got it, Ike. I got one quick precept. Okay. All right. Psalms uh, chapter 51 and 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite heart, mm. oh yeah, how will thou will not despise? So you have to be broken down, like you said. You could have been a top lawyer, or you could have been somebody even in the church who, or a theologian. You could have been an athlete. You know, you could have been somebody in the world, but you had to be broken down and reborn through the spirit, just like how a baby comes through the womb. You have to go through the process of learning how to walk again. I mean, learning how to walk, talk, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So in the truth. You gotta learn how to walk again, how to talk again, how to conduct yourself. All right. How do you see the world now compared to how you see the world when you was in the world? Mm -hmm. So you, the Lord has to break you down and build you back up. And how does He build you back up? Through the milk, as the brother pointed out in uh, Hebrews five and twelve. You gotta get the the milk. Mm -hmm. All right. You gotta get the basic scriptures. You gotta know for brothers that's coming in. All right. You gotta know who the twelve tribes are. You know. You gotta know. Who the Edomites are You gotta know who Israel is You gotta know what Israel means yep. right? You gotta know the names of the Lord So you have to be broken down To a, a state where Alright Lord I'm depending on you To build me back up mm -hmm. And that and that's what it's all about Kind. So uh, back in Hebrews 5 and um, 13 <coughs> For everyone that useth milk Is unskillful in the word of righteousness For he is a babe And in order for you to come from that Unskillful state to an actual skillful person or individual you have to learn how to be skillful mm -hmm. all right you have to go here a little there a little understand this understand that all right and the scripture says we we have an unch to know all things right all right and that's true it's in the scriptures all right you you see certain brothers it, it's down there it looks like they know everything mm -hmm. okay just just a small example all right so you have to be skillful in this thing man all mm -hmm. right humbly saying you gotta argue uh Hebrews 5 and 14, but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Yep, and, and those are the ones who's been laboring in the truth, man. All right. They they grow in, in this truth, man, for years upon you. Hey, look at our apostles and elders of Great Millstone mm -hmm. and their teachers, all right? So they have years upon years upon years of experience. They've been exercising in this thing, mm -hmm. man. That's why, you know, uh, from the outside looking in, when you look at those videos, it's like, dang, it's to the T. Mm -hmm. All right? And you can't jump around the truth, man. Yeah. All right? Just a personal testimony. That's what really brought me in. Okay? Because um, at one point, I was looking at IOIC. All right? 
But when they came out with that video, hey, don't be teaching about Yahweh Shah and stuff. And they, they kept mentioning names and JMS. I just simply put JMS Yahweh Shah. And then I saw uh, the Apostles of Elders of Great Millstone, and they was breaking the scriptures down to a T. And that's when I knew this is the truth. And I had to learn. Yeah. I had to sit down, and I kept playing the video back. Okay, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. They're breaking down the, the characters, all right? You know, the, the, let, the, the letter J and the E and the V has been mentioned and all types of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. And you had to pause the video. You know, you had to write it down mm -hmm. and all types of stuff. So there's nothing wrong with that. All right? You got it, Akia. All right. Uh, this is John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So I got this word uh, quickeneth. It's, uh, let, me see, let me let Esau play it. Zawapoeo. Sorry, so like I have my headphones on. Zawapoeo. It says to produce alive, beget, or bear living young. To mm. cause to live, make alive, give life. By spiritual power to arouse and invigorate, to restore to life. Because we were in a congregation of the dead. Mm -hmm. All right. If you um, if you by happen, uh, look at. The chapter of Ezekiel, the 37 chapter, talks about the Valley of the Dry Bones. The valley is in America. Yep. All right. And the, the dry bones represent our people who don't know that they're who they are. You call yourself black, African-American, Latino. They even have a category for you Latinos now. It's Latin, Latin X because they want to X out your gender now. All right. So our people walking around still calling themselves black into that black culture. All right. Still into mm -hmm. the ways of death. When you come and, and be born again through the spirit of the Lord, you're quickened. You're made alive again. Yep. All right. You're, you stand upon your feet. All right. You know who you are. You know where you're going. All right. A lot of people just think this, this, all this controversy with Kanye and Kyrie is just going to go away. No, this is going to bring forth more brothers and sisters that are going to wake up. So you have to be <coughs> born again. All right. To this word. And it, it comes with just reading, watching the videos. Like the brother said, taking notes. If you men that live in states where camps is at, get down to the camps and, and, and take notes, you know? Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that, man, you know? You have to learn so that you can become a better, you know, teacher. And not only just a better teacher, but a better individual in the Lord in general. Right. Okay? Because that's very, very important. Like the brother was going into, we just came from that dead state of mind. We was fucking zombies, man. We was doing this, that, and the third. We was looking like these people out here in the world having no clue. Yeah, going to the gas station, get a pack of Rellos. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. coming in an environment smelling like smoke. You know, it's just whatever. You know, just being a wild animal out here. Yeah. Being just being confirmed to the world, basically. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get that precept you wanted. Kind of. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Yeah, so... You know, um, Jay Z came out with that song when he made the Blueprint Three, and it says "Never change." Well, in this case, you better change, man. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. You know, you have Jake out there. They'd be like, "Man, I'm the same me." Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm I'm fresh. I'm fine. Who gives a shit, man? All right. You have to change so that you can get on that chariot, man. Mm -hmm. You have to be changed so that you can be delivered. Because hey, real time, real hard times are coming. All right. It might be a little shaky right now. But it's going to get even shakier, man. All right. So in order to become that, excuse me, in order to become that um, new creature, once you become that new creature, you have to build yourself up. Mm -hmm. OK, just like you playing the game, uh, for example, Pokemon, you choose your starter Pokemon. Right. And that Pokemon is on level one. It's a new creature. But you have to evolve that creature so you can reach newer heights mm -hmm. so that you can go mm -hmm. adventure over there or take this path and unlock this achievement. And to grow in that format and to get new powers, money, etc. Okay. Well, in this case, once you do become a new creature, you have to put away your old ways, man. Because your old ways is not what's going to build you in the truth. You being a ninja out there is not going to increase you in the truth. All right. What's going to increase you is your sincerity that you have towards Yahweh by Shimei al Shah. And are you actually trying to, to get it, really, as a babe? Right. When a babe is hungry, they go right to that milk mm -hmm. without hesitation. OK, so that's the same spirit. You know, we got to be in speaking to myself first and foremost. If you don't know something. Attack it. Get it. 
All right, the information is out there. Right. Okay. About to get it while the getting's good. Yeah, cause if that baby don't get that milk, you know, I know now, <laughs> but when that baby don't get that milk, they start, you know, yelling and mm. kicking, trying to fight you. Mm. All right. But um, just to add that point. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 18 And all things are of God Who have reconciled us To himself by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach And have given up to us The ministry of reconciliation mm -hmm. Now that that word reconciliation uh, Let me just play it <coughs> Psalm 26 43 Alright G 26 44 now here's I'm going straight to the point in the New Testament of the restoration of the favor of God to sinners that repent and put their trust in the expiratory death of Yahweh Shai. So you, another thing about being born again, you have to repent. Mm -hmm. You have to open yourself to the most high and ask for forgiveness of your past sins. That's right. All right. If, if you say, say, for instance, hey, you have a you have a great example in the scriptures. Of the Apostle Paul, his name before that was Saul. All right, he put a lot of the uh, lot of the uh, prophets to death. All right, but he repented, and the Lord had him do his ministry. All right, so you have to repent to the Most High for your past ways and continue to do that. It ain't just the Christian Church teaches you just to repent one time and t tomorrow by tomorrow you're doing the same stuff. Because you got to do it, yeah. You got to do it every day. Repentance is an ongoing process. That's why we have days like the Day of Atonement where we, we afflict our souls. And mm -hmm. that means, all right, basically not eating or drinking for a period of 24 hours and praying and, and fasting and asking for forgiveness of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So this is most definitely is a ministry of reconciliation, contrary to the Christian church. Kind, you know. Just, just use your imagination. Imagine if you found out the truth, right? And you've been going to the camp and everything, and then you just realize you never repented. That would be kind of weird, yeah. you know. Imagine a man who knows all this and just haven't repented. It's like, bro, like, what are you doing? So a repentance is a must, okay? Um, you had anything else? We got one more. Okay, Kai. All right, Ephesians chapter four. Oh yeah, Ephesians four and twenty. Mm -hmm. But ye have not so learned Hamashiach. If so, be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that lets you know that every student has a teacher. We have to be taught this, or should I say retaught it, all right? See, a lot of individuals, they just now coming from the world, all right? So once you've been born again, you have to understand that you, ha you, you being taught is a must, okay? You can't just wake up as if you did yesterday before you heard the truth. No. You have to start praying. You have to start repenting. Preparing yourself. Hey, the scripture said, prepare thy soul for temptation. Or if you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So you got to constantly make preparations. We're a woman. Mm -hmm. We're the Lord's woman. So one thing you know about your woman, they always doing what? Making preparations. Mm -hmm. It could be for dinner. It could be for this, that, and the third. That's us. We're making preparations through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because we understand that we're filthy rats. All right. So we know that we're in Babylon the Great. We're in the valley of shadow of death. We have to wake up with the Lord on our mind just to pray for him ready for this place, man. Because mm -hmm. you will never know what's going to go down out here. OK. You All got right. it. Like Ephesians 4 and 22. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, mm -hmm. which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Yeah. Which we was going into earlier. All right. About that um old man. Mm -hmm. OK. So the same thing. You know, you're coming into the fold, you know, you're Hebrew Israelite, you know where you're from, whatever the case might be. <coughs> Excuse me. Dealing with these elements, you know, in the flesh. But whatever the case might be, hey, you, you got to believe that you got power, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And you got to want to change. Who, who the hell want to be the same individual back in 2015? Right. You had to have a real demon on you. Right. But that's that's <laughs> our people. They have that reminiscent spirit. You yeah. know, they want to watch verses. They want to watch rappers from back in the day. They want to wear clothes from back in the day. They want to have haircuts from back in the day. You always hear our people talking about back in the good old days. No, they weren't good. Right. All right. We're moving forward into the kingdom of heaven. Imagine um, an individual. He went to college. You know, he got inside the, um, you know, step team, you know, all that bullshit. And then he grew up. He got old. He's 68 now. He's still trying to be a fucking Q dog. 
What's up? You didn't, you didn't let that shit go, man? You know, he, he had the barbecue in the backyard teaching yeah. teaching the kids how to do a cute dance. Yeah, like a 67-year-old woman <laughs> twerking. Yeah. So, she didn't learn her lesson. Right. So just to throw that, I know it was a carnal example, but, you know, it's a it's a good example to what we're going into. Right. All right. You got to argue. Uh, it says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Renew. Read to come back. And new is new. All right. So you got to be a new person. Let go of that old, old them old demons that you used to, that you used to be. Excuse me. All right. Getting lit, scheming, whatever the case might be. Let that go. Mm -hmm. All right. Because if you still have that same spirit on you, the Lord's gonna deal with you, man. All right. And when He come back, it ain't gonna be no. Hey, I'm about to get it right now. Nah. Yeah. You should have been making your preparations. Yeah. You should have been cleansing yourself to the best of your ability. You should have been calling on y'all about Shemiah shot. But you decided to keep your old ways, smoke every day, do this, this, that, and the third. No, you shouldn't do it. Okay? You got to out. <clears throat> All right. And this is uh, the last verse. And that you put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Exactly. True holiness. Mm -hmm. Holy means to really just separate yourself from the world. All right. So once you separate yourself from the world, all right, be not conformed to this world. Then the Lord, then you like a reliable, you know, vessel. It's like, man, you're not acting like these ninjas out here. Mm -hmm. You calling on me every day? Man, I, 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 I got to protect you, man. I got to save you. Mm -hmm. All right? Because this guy over here who killed 10 people over some money, he ain't got it. Mm -hmm. That person over there probably just robbed his own parents and then went home and, and messed with somebody else's woman. He ain't got it. But mm -hmm. you changed all your ways and started calling on me. I got to deal with you. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's basically it. All right, you know the true meaning of being born again. All right, you have to let all the all the ways that you learn within this world yourself, because we do have vain opinions. All right, so every you got to cleanse all that. You got to let all that go. Mm -hmm. You wanted to um, say anything? Nah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, on low willing, this intrusion was edifying. We're gonna close up by giving all honor, glory and to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Rechakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone again, and peace, love, and salutations towards you. Hopefully, let us be pushing the truth. With that, shalom. Shalom.